Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is about BMS IT Bangalore, which is BMS Institute of Technology. And I'm going to cover the detailed placements review for the college before that bms itm is one of the top notch brand for quality education in bangalore and that is also justified by its nirf ranking so last year it was under band 201 to 300 top engineering colleges in india you can see the ranking here and talking about the college it's part of the bms group of college which has bms ce and this college specifically was started in 2002 so almost like 20 batches of this college have already passed and location wise this college is located in uh, you know uh, doda pallapuram main road yelanka town and the campus is quite beautiful 21.5 acres and this is one of the main picture of the campus right so you can see it's quite beautiful the uh, address is why it's Avalahalli area in Yelanka, Bangalore. And these are the complete contact details for the admission in case you are going for management quota or any other thing or even hostel purpose. So every details are there on these contact numbers. You can call them. Now I'm going to talk about the status. So it is an autonomous engineering college from 21, 20 to 21 batch. So it's a good option there. And there are seven UG programs and two PG programs which are accredited by NBA already. And it's a NAC A grade college with AICT ex approval extended already and um, permanent affiliation to VTU. So autonomous college under VTU and it is UC, UGC recognized under 12B of the UGC Act for the central government funding purpose. Now this is the last year's fee and uh, seat in tech. So you can see all the branches which are available. So electronics and communication engineering ECE 120 seats, computer science engineering CSE 2240 seats, mechanical engineering 60 seats and all the core branches like Tripoli which is 60 seats and electronics and telecommunication also 60 seats. The computer related branch which is information science engineering there you see 240 seats and civil engineering 60 seats, AIML branch 180 seats. And then you have computer science and business system also available 60. So large number of computer seats are available along with EC which are the best options to study. And talking about the admission process, so it takes admission for Karnataka residents through KSET exam or CET exam. And for non-Karnataka domicile students, they can also get admission through Comed K exam. Which and then there are also management quota seats which are available in this college so you can get uh, admission i'll talk about the management quota fees in the later part of this video so cassette code of this college is e126 and comet k e28 now let's talk about the management quota so if you have not got a good you know uh, exam through cassette or comet k then you can definitely take admission through management quota so fees if you see civil engineering 1.5 lakh rupees per year Triple E branch available at 2 lakh rupees per year. Electronics and communication engineering fees is 3.5 lakh rupees per year. Mechanical engineering 1.5 lakhs per year. And computer science engineering is the costliest option. It is like 6.5 lakh rupees per year. AIML branch is like 5.5 lakh rupees per year. Computer science and business system branch is 4.5 lakh rupees per year. They have not mentioned about the information science engineering branch, but it will be approximately 5.5 lakh rupees per year for ISC also. And then the next course is you can see uh, architecture branch, right? So architecture also management quota fee structure is 3.25 lakh rupees per year. So you can calculate the four year fees based on the amount which is given here. Now they also have the management quota seat for the master's program so these are all masters so mba you can do management quota in 275000 per year and same is the for mca 275000 per year so two years fees will be for each of these two courses will be five and a half lakhs for two years mtech you can do 1 lakh rupees per year for computer science cyber security mtech 1.25 lakh rupees per year and then VLSI and embedded systems MTech is the costliest one which is 2.5 lakh rupees per year so sometimes you know VLSI course is very in high demand and you can see its fees is even more than the computer science so M MR you can do in urban design again fees is 1 lakh rupees per year now I'm going to talk about the placements of the college so 46.4 lakhs has been the highest salary 
till date for BMSIT, which is a good trend. And now this is the five years placement trend, right? So this is for all the courses, engineering, MBA, MCA, all put together. So if you see uh, in 2021 batch, uh, you know, the red one, 458 students got placed. In 2022, the number of placed students increased to 699. Then in 2023, the number of placed students increased to 786. In 2024, the placed students increased to 798. And this year, it will cross 798 also. This is the placement trend up to 12th April only. So up to 12th April, 658 students were already placed. So in April and May, June, up to July, the placement will go. And you can expect 800 plus students will get finally placed. So that was the overall placements, including all the courses. But if I have to talk only about the BTEC placement trend for last three years first, and then I will go to 2025 later. So if you see in 2022 batch, 778 uh, students were eligible out of which 640 got placed with the median salary of 6 lakhs. In the next year, in 2023 also, around 741 students got placed which increased by 100 students and median salary it maintained around 6 lakhs. So that is a good trend. And in the 2024, which was again the tough market, every college faced bad placements. It's out of 7,553 eligible students, 663 got placed. So that way it has shown a good trend, though there is a small fall in the median salary, like 50,000 fall, which is from 6 lakhs to 5.5 lakhs, which has happened in all the colleges in India, right? Now is the thing I'm going to talk about the 2025 placement, the latest placement. No will provide you as detailed placement I'm showing you. And these placements are only up to 12th April 2025. That means three months are still pending. So by this time, 203 companies have already visited and 901 job offers were already there. And the total number of placed students were around 658. So that means almost 200 plus students have more than one offer. Now, this is also the average salary of the current batch. So 8.07 lakhs average salary for 2025 batch, which is the ongoing placement. And the median salary for the current batch, which is 2025 ongoing placement is 6 lakhs per annum. Now, also, I'm going to talk about the placements branch wise so that you have idea which are the branches. And this is not a complete placement this is as of 12th april 2025 so again up to april and may june july three months placements are still pending so if you see first the aiml branch 58 students were eligible 47 got placed so they are claiming 81 percent placement CSC branch 203 students were eligible 153 got placed so even CSC 75 percent students were already placed and the placement is ongoing right so it is not complete it is still going on civil engineering 31 students 36 placed 83 percent already good ECE 40, 142 students out of which 94 were already placed in April till April 66 percent placement triple E branch 55 students there 30 placed 54 placements 54 percent placement ET, Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, 47 students were eligible, 31 got placed, close to 65 placements already done. And then Information Science Engineering, 208 students were there and as good as 169 were already placed. So they are placing big number of students, 81% placement already done in Information Science branch also. Mechanical, 34 students registered, 23 got placed, 67% placement already there in 2025. MCA 110 students eligible only 34 got placed so MCA placements are going still low of you know 30 percent only similarly MBA out of 114 students eligible only 40 were placed till 12th April so that is just 35 percent so it will improve but still it is lower and same with the MTech which is the 25 students eligible 11 placed 44 percent place test only happened right so if you see master's course placements are low but for the bachelor's course the placement is going quite good now you will also want to know the branch wise uh, highest salary lowest salary and average salary aiml branch 23 highest salary and average salary of 8.72 computer science branch csc 33 lakhs highest salary and average salary in 2025 batch is 9.31 in information science engineering branch 28 lakhs highest salary and 8.49 lakhs average salary ece branch the highest salary is as good like 26 lakhs average salary 7.53 
triple e branch also you can see the highest salary is as good as 23 lakhs and 5.54 as the average salary ete branch now average now the highest salary is under 10 lakhs ete highest salary 9 lakhs mechanical is not good 4.6 lakhs is the highest salary and civil engineering is also highest salary 7.5 lakhs and the mca the highest salary still date is 12 lakhs so this is the how the placement is going for both PG, ug and the pg courses that's all i have to cover in this particular video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar detailed placement review of all the colleges in india take care and bye, bye.